him. I got to get over there. Ah, shit. He's coming for you again, kid. You better be careful. Those hunters could be anywhere. I wonder if we could have used our words to avoid fighting. Ah, hell no. One of you will be strong. Not again. Yeah, your peaches. I know you are in pain. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh, huh? You're not the only one to be tested. Did you know that I had a wife? So beautiful, isn't she? We were pregnant with our first child. And we were just babies ourselves, really. And I was terrified. I'm becoming a father. Mostly about money. She wasn't worried. She had faith that things were gonna work out. She always had faith. gonna go visit a friend. Hmm. It was an accident. The Lord take it. They rushed me to a hospital and put me in a room with this little pink bundle stuffed with tubes. And they said that I had to be strong because my little girl was gonna live. God was looking out for our daughter. And they left me uh, alone in the room with her. I just stared at my daughter, so helpless and so innocent. When all she had in the world was me, when nobody from nowhere was. I knew that God was testing me. He was laying out a path before me, and all I had to do was choose. So I put my hand on my little girl's head, and I leaned in and I could smell it. And we prayed together, prayed for wisdom, prayed for strength.
Good. Call the herd. Sacrifice the weak. Got a job for you. You remember the Grand View Hotel? That shithole we pulled you out of? Need you to head back there. Jacob nabbed a whitetail by the name of Briggs, and he's using the same brain melting nonsense he tried on you. All in the hopes that Briggs will give up the wolf stand. I don't think our boy can hold out as long as you did. And if he gives up our location, we're done. So we gotta move on this quick. Some folks here think the smart move would be just to off him. But if we start killing our own to save our asses, how's that make us any better than Jacob? Nah, I ain't going down that road. Here's what we're gonna do instead. Wheaties cooked up a little deprogramming package. Same thing we used on you. Need you to swap out the tape they got running in Briggs' room with the one I'm gonna give you. And then, well, then we'll see what happens. If everything goes smooth, our guy comes back to Earth. If it doesn't, well, we'll deal with that when the time comes. You better fucking walk the hell out of me. Okay, kid. You lie here. Got you on the cameras. Grandview's a straight shot north of there. Get moving. Once you're inside, swap the tape and let the deprogramming run its
its course. came in and rescued some of his Stop. guys. Making a move. Shit. How many did he get? Not sure, but he murdered a dozen of our guards to get him. Shit! No wonder everyone's jumpy around here. Yeah. We did it once. Bet he's gonna do it again. Not if I can help it. And lo, none shall be saved with me. My father must have a good reason for all this. If you found him, just let the tape do its thing. Damn, that's loud. And sure to attract some attention from the Peggy's. Take them out before they get our boy.
I'm seeing trucks headed your way. Jacob must have been waiting for us to hit him again. Kid, I'm seeing mortars and MGs outside. Get creative. They got lots of toys.
job, Deb. You're a goddamn hero in my books. Things are looking real good for Briggs. Whitetails are on the way to pick him up. Jacob won't be using a grand view to fuck with anyone now. God damn. I'd love to see his ugly mug when he hears he lost his little torture chamber. Stop. Let's get out for a bit. You know, you proved everyone wrong, Deb. Everyone except me. Always knew you were the real deal. I'll see you back at the den, soldier. Take care. Gotta be careful. Oh.